guys it's tara with vintage gypsy i'm back bringing you another video we're gonna do the second part of my jewelry haul that i acquired during my downtime over the holidays and while i was sick i'm doing a lot better thank you to the people that's reached out to me to see how i'm doing i am doing better i do still have a little bit of cough from the pneumonia but they said it could take a while for that to completely go away, so I am doing better. This is going to be um, part two. There's definitely going to be a part three and even possibly a part four because I have two big boxes to go through, and they're all either, well, not all, but most of it is new on card or new in its original box, so that could take a while to go through, so we'll see how many videos we end up with that. If you see anything that you're interested in in any of the videos or you just want to reach out to me, you can email me at VintageGypsySales at gmail.com. My email, instructions on how to order, my social media, and all of my selling platforms are listed in the description below, so feel free to check that out. I did get back on Whatnot and do a show yesterday. So, with that, let's get into some jewelry. We've got some cool stuff to look at today. And again, this stuff came from various different places, estate sales, auctions, online, just anywhere I can pick stuff up, I try to source there. Thrift stores. Um, it's not really yard sale season right now, but I'm feeling like probably in another month or so in my area because I am in the south. The yard sales will start picking back up so our first piece is this little acrylic bracelet it came in a little lot of stuff and i'm probably going to save that for my granddaughter it's got really cute colors and the stretch is good so i'll probably save that for her all right our next piece is this little brooch right off i don't see a maker but it's in really good condition faux pearl gold tone so that's cute all right let's see we've got a it's mother of pearl that is possibly turquoise and then these are some kind of dyed shell or something this may be sterling i don't see any markings on it but i will definitely test that later but that's a pretty piece and it does need to be straightened out it is on like a fishing wire so that can be straightened out with a blow dryer but that lays nice that's pretty all right next we have this brooch let's check and make sure the clasp works Okay, well, let me see. Okay, the clasp does work. And it's got all of these little earrings on there. You've got a crab, a fish, a seashell, a starfish, and a seahorse. And you can take the earrings off and mix and match. Let me see if it's marked. I thought that was a marking, but I think that's just part of the design, and I'm not seeing a mark right off. So this is definitely something that I would Google Lens because it's very unique, and if there's anything else out there like this, Google Lens will definitely pick that up, but I thought that was fun. All right, we got just a little... Um, flower it looks like it used to be an earring that would be a good crafting piece my one daughter-in-law has just started making the christmas trees and the little art pictures and stuff out of jewelry so that's something that would be cute for her all right next we've got a little christmas tree brooch i'm not seeing a marking it does need a little cleaning. I'm sure that'll wipe up good, though. And I'm thinking these are just going to be glass. It 
get going up just a tad on the glass so pretty little glass rhinestones on there cute Christmas brooch all right our next piece is I almost feel like that's enamel ATI Mexico 925. I feel like this is some kind of enamel. I don't think it's onyx. It's still a really pretty piece, though. All right. We have an earring. Homemade. I was really intrigued by this piece. So, let me show you. It's really long. So, there's an idea of the length. Let me, let me measure it. It is all glass. So, it's about 32 inch total length. It's showing about a 16 inch drop. And these are all black glass. And then you move down into these wedding cake beads with the roses those are glass so this is all glass and then of course the metal caps but that is a beautiful beautiful piece these are glass again we're needing some wiping so pretty piece all right we have Sarah Cove, patent pending. I always take these off. They're notorious for getting gook and stuff under them. My nails are shining and reflecting green. Now, this does have a little green under it, but my nails are also shining green onto it. So, I hope we find the other one of those. Little Sarah Cove. We'll put that there. All right, we have a Timex, no band. The band is broken. It does have a little bit of scratching right there on the crystal. Timex M-Cell. I don't really know anything about watches, so if anybody knows anything about watches and can let me know if this is a good one, I would appreciate it. Okay, next we have a earring, pierced, unmarked, very 80s. All right, let's see. Stuck together. So we have a ring. Let's get a size. Did I not get my ring sizer out? I thought I did, but maybe not. I'm going to have to move my Presidium, and I hate moving it. Oh, my ring. Oh, here it is. I did get it out. I knew I did. Get my Presidium put back. So, this is coming in at a... Size 6. They've got it marked as a 5.5, but it's actually coming in at a 6. Yeah, that's about a six. And it looks like one of those bath bomb rings to me. All right, we're moving up on the very high glass range. So, definitely costume. I'm not seeing any markings inside the ring. It's still a pretty little ring. So that's a fun piece. All right, next we have this little sterling silver. There's your mark. No, here's your mark. I think it says Espo. 
I'm not sure. I would have to look that up. It's hard to read right there. But there's your 925. And I think that says Espo. I'm pretty sure this is a morning brooch. You put a little flower down inside the tube there. Again, I'll have to look into this further. But I'm pretty sure that this is a morning brooch. make sure the clasp works yes the clasp works so we'll put that to test and also to look up all right so this Sarah Cove and if I'm not mistaken so that is the matching brooch to the Sarah Cove earring it is clip here's the back of the brooch so hopefully we'll get the match to that. Pretty set. All right, next we have a Byzantine kind of style. I think this is stainless. Okay, the bracelet is not magnetic, but the little rings on the clasp are magnetic. That's pretty common for those little rings to be magnetic, so... Let's get a length on this. Eight inches. So that is a, could be a men's or a larger ladies size. Pretty. All right, oh, this is cool. Very glossy enamel. Looking to see if we have a mark. It is marked. B E R E B I. Maribi. I'm not sure on that. If we find the match to that, I will definitely look that up online. That's another piece that I'm sure if you Google Lens it and there's anything out there, it'll pull it up. So that's a cool piece. All right. This has kind of been out of shape. It does look sterling. Okay, yeah. So... This is one of those that you can add and remove charms from. Again, it does look sterling. I'm not seeing any markings on it right off, but I'll definitely put that in our pile to test. All right, we have another bracelet that appears to be stainless. Nope, this one's not stainless. This one is about an eight and a half inch. Not seeing any markings on it. Let me scratch this. Maybe stainless that's rhodium plated because it's not scratching like copper or brass, but it's in really good condition. It is a bigger size, so definitely could be a men's. I'll look at that some more. All right, we got another earring. This is Clip Avon. Those are nice. Let's see if that wipes off. Yeah, so that was just a little dirt on there. Pretty little earring. Let's hope we find the match. All right, we've got the match to this one. Like I said, very 80s look on those. So we got both of those. All right, we've got a brooch. Oh, that's gorgeous. At that a 
Does that say pewter? It does. Um, if it's pewter, it's definitely plated with some kind of gold or gold tone plating. Beautiful little brooch, and that is the only writing that I'm seeing on that. So that'll be another good piece to Google Lens. All right, we've got a little locket. Where is my little pin that I open stuff with? Let's see. Let's try to open it with that. I usually have all of my stuff sitting here, but I did a whatnot show last night, so I had to. There's the inside. Pretty little locket. Definitely just some kind of plating over it. I don't think it's gold filled. So, pretty little vintage piece. All right, next we've got a micro mosaic brooch made in Italy. Guys, always check these because sometimes, nope, it's magnetic. Sometimes these are gold or gold filled. All the little mosaic pieces are there. That's a really nice find. Pretty. All right, we've got another bracelet. It says E H E W A B A. No idea what that says. And then it says Hawaii 2008 to five. in Italy on the other side. No idea what that name is though. So that's that's a good heavy chunk of silver there. Alright, so we'll put that in the test pile. Alright, we have a ring. It's a bypass ring. It is marked Mexico 925 and then it's got a little maker's mark right there next to it. I'm not familiar with that maker's mark. I would have to look it up. Drop straight down on the mandrel. It comes in easily at a nine and a quarter and then it will spread even bigger comfortably down to about a 12. But just drop straight down. It comes in at like maybe even not a nine and a half. So that's a pretty one. All right. Let's see. Okay. We have a little heart pendant. Possibly turquoise. Mark 925. That's the only marking I see. It's got a little whale tail style bale so that's a nice piece it's pretty heavy too all right that can go in our test pile all right we have a little rhinestone and is that one missing all right one of the green rhinestones is missing this is a necklace enhancer and I'm not seeing any markings on it. So that would most likely go in a craft lot or a rhinestone harvest lot. Alright, so here is the mate to that. So we've got both of those. So I'll definitely be Googling in those, especially since they are marked. Alright, we've got another piece. Stamp 925. Let me look and see if there's any other markings inside the bell. Sometimes they will put markings inside the bell. I don't see anything. 
and that actually looks like hematite. It may not be coming through on screen, but it just doesn't look like onyx. It definitely looks like hematite. That's gorgeous. Kind of bally looking with the dot work around the edges. It's a fairly large pendant as well. So without the bell, if I can get the bell to lay right. Without the bell, we're at two inches, and then the bell is another just over a quarter of an inch. So about two and a quarter, a little over two and a quarter inches. So that's a pretty piece. We'll test that. All right, we've got another of those micro mosaics. It looks like all the pieces are there. I love this blue around the edge. Look how beautiful that is. Again, made in Italy. Magnetic. Those are nice, and I do well with those. All right, so we have another brooch. Gold tone. Faux pearl. It does look like all the pearls are there. And crown trafari. So that's a nice find. Really pretty piece. Okay, we do have the match to the Sarah Cove. So we've got both clip earrings and the brooch. So that's a nice little set. Cool. Happy about that. All right, we got a fun little just plastic, acrylic heart earring just in time for Valentine's. Those are cool. And here's the match. So we've got both of these fun. This, I'm sure those are just um, costume hooks. Okay, I don't see, I don't see a mark on this. Yeah, these are almost like little they're not rivets, but they're almost like where the separate pieces have been attached. But that's a gorgeous little brooch. It's in really good condition. That'd be really nice for Easter. So we've got that brooch. All right, next we have a little pin. This looks military to me, possibly Marines gold tone oh wait sterling and 14k and then the top word says semitalic so I'll have to do some research on that piece it looks like it's 14K over sterling. Cool. Anybody know anything about that? I would love to hear from you. So we'll put that over here in our look at it pile. Next, we have a little cloisonne dangle earring with flowers. Looks like maybe Bird of Paradise flowers or something along that line. That's pretty. I hope we get the match. Here's the match to the Avon. And they are clips. So we've got both of those. Pretty. All right. So we've got this twisted. It's almost like a herringbone style, but it's twisted. These were popular many moons ago. It is I'm going to say like a 19 to 20 inch just because it won't lay all the way out because it is twisted. So I'm going to say 19 to 20 inch. 
there's your marking 925 in Italy so we'll put that needs to be cleaned we'll put that in our pile to test all right we've got a little cloisonne butterfly there's the back all right we have oh sc saracov so we got little saracov faux pearl classic button earrings all right we have a match to the cloisonne earring no kind of marking I'm wondering if this pattern is a marking like 1928 has that certain pattern that they mark their jewelry with all right here's another piece of cloisonne that one looks like a lotus flower and there's that pattern on the back again okay so we have Definitely sterling. So it's definitely marked sterling, and then it looks like it says Peru down below, but I'm not for sure. Pretty little earring. Screw back. If you guys can hear my grandkids in the background, I do apologize. We try to keep it to a minimum, but... We do live real life around here, so we do the best we can. I do have two grandkids that live with me, so, you know, we're living real life. So we have this little heart brooch. I don't see any maker. The stones are kind of yellowing. don't think it's intentional I think that's just old glue showing through so all right we have another brooch it's an initial brooch it is marked sterling and then it has a maker mark underneath that so that's a nice piece and it actually looks like Oh, nope, there's one missing right there. This would be a good piece, unfortunately, to harvest the marcasites. And because it is an initial brooch, it would be hard. Oh, here's another marking on this end. I didn't even see that one. Yeah, that's definitely a bigger version of that maker's mark that's on the other end. And then it's got some numbers on the back of the letters. I don't know if you can see them. There you go. There's one there, one there, and one there. So that's a cool piece. We'll have to look that up. Put that in our little pile. Oh, this is adorable. Are we missing a stone? I cannot tell. It kind of looks like there's not supposed to be a stone there, but it has one on the other side. These are little Coro clips. That would be an easy fix if we get the mate. That's gorgeous. Sweet little Coro. Okay, so we have the mate 
to the Lotus Flower Cloisonne. Those are nice. All right. So we have another bracelet. It's got the, what do you call it? Is that the Maltese cross or the iron cross? It's got a little rhinestone there on the clasp. Oh, it is marked Lotus Stainless Steel. So this one is definitely stainless. This one is about an eight and a half to an eight and a quarter. I'm going to give some extra because this is not sitting flat. Possibly even up to a nine because of the curve there. It looks in new condition. It just needs a little, little bit of polishing. I love that clasp. That is gorgeous. Kind of almost giving me uh, biker vibes maybe so we got some cool men's bracelets i don't get a lot of men's stuff oh here's a pair of earrings all right so these i think that's just acrylic let's check it yeah not getting any movement on the presidium so those are just acrylic but they're still cute. They're Rivoli style. And we have both of those. They're like a fuchsia pink. So those are pretty. This jewelry is not really that bad dirty either. It just needs a little bit of cleaning. So we have black enamel, rhinestone, a half hoop style. These are not marked that I can see, but they're giving me kind of like Avon vibes. And a lot of times, uh oh, sorry for the bump, guys. A lot of times Avon will mark their jewelry on their earring backs. So these may not be the original backs. So that's pretty. All right, next we have a little rope chain. It is coming in at 20 inches. Nice looking rope. There's your 925 in Italy. So we'll put that in our pile to test. Okay, so we have this. Didn't I just have one of these, or is this the same one? This looks like sterling. It is marked Italy 925 on the earring back. So I'm pretty sure these are sterling. I could have swore I had two of them though. Maybe I didn't. Maybe that's the same one. We'll put it to the side and see if we find another. All right, this is marked Mexico. It kind of looks like sterling, but I don't think it is, so it's probably alpaca. You've got like a black onyx, mother of pearl, and abalone. Abalone. Which is common in these um, alpaca earrings. We'll test it just to be sure, but I feel like it's probably alpaca. All right, so we have a, oh, okay. It's like a porpoise or a dolphin. And 
the head is the front of the earring and then the back would be the tail. I'm looking to see if I see any kind of name on these. Let me look on the post. I don't see a name, but again, this will be a good piece to Google Lens. So you put it like so, and then your earlobe goes in between, and it looks like the dolphin is hanging through your ear. That's cute. All right, so we have a little button regiment. Military vibes. It's either real military or a little knockoff. All right, this says 1989 Hallmark. Cute little Christmas rocking horse. <laughs> All right, we've got little mother of pearl painted brooch that says mother. Just a little costume brooch that's kind of cute okay all right so there's the match to the suspected alpaca so again we'll test those there's the match to the little dolphin or porpoise those are cute. All right, here is the match to the rhinestone and enamel set. Those are really nice. All right, that's the match to the Sarah Cove. Getting a lot of matches. I'm excited. So here's the match to the Coro, and this one does have a marcasite there. So that would be a super nice little set of Coro. It just needs one little stone replaced, and if it turns out not to be something that is worth a lot of money, even with the initials on it, Okay, what did I do with that piece? Oh, this piece. No, those marcasites would be too little. I'm sure I can find something with a big marcasite to, to repair this. Those are definitely worth repairing. They're beautiful. <laughs> if you don't keep a repair kit, you should. All right, so we've got this vintage. That says just for you. I'm not seeing any markings on the flower itself. Just for you. No markings on the spring ring. So just a sweet little dainty like box chain type deal. There is a little bit of wear on this part and on the clasp. But the chain is in excellent condition and the rose itself is in excellent condition. So nice little piece there little vintage valentine gift all right so here is the mate to that cloisonne dangle and i think those are like bird of paradise flowers but there is the match to those nice got some kind of little tiny little Huh, I don't know what that is. All right, we got a bunch of just little thin 
dainty chains. So this I don't know what this has got going on. Only that jump ring is magnetic. This kind of looks sterling to me. It looks like it just needs to be hooked back together. Possibly an anklet or a broken piece of a necklace. But I'll look at that some more. So. Okay, wait. Does this match? I think these, the chain is different though. But they look very similar, so I'm not sure because this one appears to be broken also, but it has a clasp there, and we do have a marking 925. India and then we have this little I'm sure that's sterling little heart hang tag little dainty one so I'll look at that some more maybe I can at least take that little charm off and put it on something else all right one of the lots that I bought that had the stuff um, this is the reason that I bought it because I saw this little bag and the photos and I was like mm -hmm. alright so we've got this turquoise leaf design ring it is marked sterling and mini goats Okay, so Mini Goats is a Navajo Native American designer. The ring is coming in at a size 7. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. And I believe there were two Mini Goats. Not two Mini Goats, ha ha ha. Um, but there were two designers that used that name, and they may have either been brother or sister or husband and wife. I can't remember. So, these are little earrings. And they are turquoise and coral. And this one is marked sterling. And this one is marked mini goats mini like m-a-n-y like a lot of goats so beautiful i'm gonna put those back in their little bag so that was Part of the reason that i bought a lot of this stuff this is a couple different lots that ended up together just for us to check them out okay let me hook this all right this is a vintage box chain there's your clasp it definitely needs a cleaning It is marked FAS 925 Italy. This is a long one. It 
This one is going to be about 25 to 26 inches. And it's in really good condition. It definitely needs to be cleaned, and I will test that. All right. So this is broken, but it definitely looks like sterling. So I'll put that in our pile to test. All right, so we have a horse dangle earring, Mark 925. Here's the mate. I'll definitely test those as well. Cool. Cool, cool. All right, so we have a little filigree hoop. nine two five with an m inside parentheses so maybe we'll get the match to that then we have another little dainty chain it is not broken which is a miracle Let's see if it's marked nine two five ppc right there let's hook it and get a measurement this one's going to be probably about a 16 or 18 inch i think yeah 18 inch so this is just a little dainty little vintage chain almost like a curb maybe like a little dainty curb chain all right so we have a little rose this one looks different than the other one there's some writing monet so this is probably like a um gold plated or gold filled little Monet just looking at it I would say probably gold plated but I'll definitely look that up look how dainty and sweet cute little piece sliding off here all right okay so here's the mate to that one these are super cool I love these And I am 99% sure that these are sterling. So they would kind of give you a little bit of a wave when you wear them. They're like little strips of silver. Cool. Put those in our testing pile. Okay, no, those we already looked at. Those were the broken ones. Oh. Our other little butterfly. Too bad. Cloisonne butterfly broken. All right, so we've got the match to this hoop. And again, these were marked somewhere right there, 925. So they're just little filigree hoops. They are about an inch. This little little silver hoops filigree all right so then we have best mom with a star nine two five right there so that would look good cleaned up and put on one of the little chains that we found all right we have a little oh something some i bet this is some kind of high school pin well it's so tiny i can't hold it quill quill scroll 
and a bunch of initials that some kind of high school. I'm not feeling like this is any kind of precious metal, probably just like brass. All right, we have a, it is marked. Let's go ahead and read the markings. AC 925 Thailand CZ got writing on those two and those two cute little pendant for Valentine's let's test it all right it is moving up on the way high end of glass so definitely CZ there is another little piece of some kind of earring and guys, again, with these, always check your earring backs. I have found so many gold and silver earring backs in junk jewelry lots. And they're great to have when you get earrings in that are missing backs. All right, this is marked 120th 14K. So that's 120th gold filled 14K. So I have a big bag of gold filled that I will add that to. All right, our next piece is a little gold tone. That looks gold. definitely marked. I'm sorry I keep bumping you guys. All right, so the po or the earring hook is marked 14k MA and a copyright symbol and then copyright MA 14k on the little charm as well. I hope we find the mate to that. That is super cute. This is one of those pieces, though, if you don't find the mate, that would make a gorgeous um, necklace charm. So let's put that to the side. All right, we've got a little bag. Okay, this is definitely, where is the end of the, okay, right here. Is that Elko or Espo? Elko Sterling. And here's the other end. All right, there's your clasp. It works very well. All right, so we've got Merry Christmas. We've got one broken off there and there. And we've got two charms broken off. All right, then we have, you're an angel. That one does not look sterling to me. Yeah, that one's definitely picking up. So some of these are gonna be sterling and some are not, like a little class ring. I'm not really sure what that is. It almost looks like an hourglass thing that's missing the glass. We have a music note. We have a cheerleader, we have a fish, and again, that one definitely, no, that one's definitely not sterling. Um, we have another missing charm there. We have happy birthday. So somebody named Tina 
This was her bracelet. We have a little four leaf clover or shamrock. We have ballet shoes. We have a little poodle. Oh, that's cute. It looks like it's missing some enamel, though. Maybe not. We have a little Christmas tree. We have a uh, marionette baton thing. Another Merry Christmas. And a little bulldog thing. So, that's a hefty piece. I'm feeling like several of those are not sterling, though. So, I would definitely have to go through those individually. But the, the bracelet itself is super nice. I love this clasp like that that's on it. Oh, it's missing the safety chain, too. It used to have a safety chain. So, cool. That's a big piece of sterling. Let's put that back in its bag. All right, next we have... Maybe this is one of the charms that's missing off the bracelet. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. Maybe a lemon. It's kind of got a little indention in it right there that makes it look like a lemon. I don't know. All right, we have, ooh, that looks like ear gunk. Definitely ear gunk and definitely marked 925 beside it. So we have the mate right here. Those are either not sterling or they're very heavy rhodium plated. They're magnetic. I mean, it's not a strong pull, but I'm going to have to test those because I'm not convinced. Heavy rhodium plating can make them very shiny like this and slightly magnetic. But I don't know. Those are... I'm not convinced. So those will definitely go in our testing pile. All right, there's another little charm that looks like it could have came off the bracelet. St. Thomas, Virgin Islands. And it's marked. See more. Sterling. All right, next. So this is a, another little charm bracelet. So there's the clasp. It is marked sterling. Spelled out all caps. I don't see a name like a an Elko or a bow or anything like that. And then you've got these little charms that have names and dates. So you've got Tina. Andy. Tony. And Ted. So, and then you got a little piece that looks like maybe it might have been holding one of the charms on one of the bracelets. So, we'll definitely look at all of those closer, test them for sterling. Uh, unfortunately, some of that will probably end up in scrap because of all the names. Alright, this bag kind of looked like junk to me, but it was mixed in with that bag that had the mini goats sterling in it, so. Okay, this, this is pretty. So this is um, vintage gold tone. It is marked 
Korea. We do have a little bit of wear on the clasp right there. The chain is in really good condition though. And then it comes down into this pretty pendant with the praying hands. Oh, and it has the serenity prayer on the back. So that's a pretty little piece. All right, the other little piece looks like, hmm, is that some kind of, does this clip on your pocket and dangle or maybe a tie or something? Maybe a bookmark? Okay, these are the Ten Commandments, guys. These are the Ten Commandments. I'm not seeing any other kind of marking on it. It's definitely magnetic. But that is gorgeous. That is really pretty. That would make a great bookmark. Mark your pages and let this hang out the top of the book. That would be beautiful. I love that. All right. Those we already looked at. Let's. All right, we've got some pieces to a Michael Kors watch. We've got one, two, three. Okay, so these are like button covers. I think they're brass. Or brass plated but two of them the little cover part has come off so that's too bad all right we've got a little watch advance again I know nothing about watches so all right we've got a little Rolo chain style bracelet it's got this little glass like cat eye charm definitely not getting sterling or stainless vibes from this but oh yeah very very magnetic oh ooh, that won't even hardly want to come back off cute little piece though definitely wearable okay all right so we've got another watch Paul, Paul Garnier, 21 Jewels. Again, I know nothing about watches. The clasp is really nice. Uh, the plating looks in decent condition. The clasp works very well. So, not sure. Not sure on that. Pretty. All right, we got some silver tone. Yes, silver tone um, earrings that are in terrible condition. So we'll get rid of those. All right, we got We Care at Spout Springs. So that is probably a school. It almost looks like a class ring style, doesn't it? That's pretty stone. All right, we got a... Oh, Silver tone. This is not magnetic, but I'm telling you just from the way it looks that it is not sterling. That will definitely end up in a craft lot. So nothing there. Love you, big sister. La mode. Yeah, not not gold or sterling, so. Alright, we have a little heart pendant. We have a little pair of earrings. Just simple little laser cut little earrings. We have
nothing craft lot all right so we've got a little box that is marked giovanni has a little card inside the life of a rose written by virginia McElroy anderson again the giovanni oh this is beautiful this is gorgeous, guys. So there's your little Giovanni tag on the back. This is gorgeous. Some lady probably got this for a Valentine gift. And it's just sweet. That's gorgeous. All right. I don't think we've been through this yet. We're getting close to the end, and that's good because this is turning into a long video. All right, so we've got this necklace. I love that. It does need to be wiped down. These are all acrylic, and I'm sure it's just silver tone. I don't see a maker on it at all. I was going to try to put it on my bust, but I don't think you'll be able to see it. I'm going to try to change my setup around soon, guys, where I can show you stuff on the bust and everything. So that's nice. I like that. I would wear that. Just a costume piece. All right, we've got a bag of these and they say $33 our secret Beverly Hills one carat huh Oh, these have been in here for a while. Look at the little indention that it made. Okay, so that is marked. 120th, 14 karat gold filled. So I bet this little one that we found earlier is one of these with the stone missing. Let's see if we should check. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So probably, so it says our secret, so probably the secret is, is that they're just gold filled. Yeah, this is definitely going up into the ruby range. So these are um, ruby and gold filled. 14 karat gold filled, so you have that one. All right, we have a clear one. Let's test it. CZ. It's beautiful. So 120th, 14 karat gold filled and CZ. These are very vintage. Look at the tag on those. All right, so... Then it looks like we have another ruby and two more CZ. Let's check this one. That is gorgeous. Oh, this one cost more. The others were $33. This one says half carat. I don't know. That stone looks... No, yeah. Half carat. Yeah, CZ. And let's just make sure this one's marked also. 120th, 14K gold filled. So that one was $42. And then I wanted to check this other ruby. 
Yep. So we have a heart ruby and a solitaire ruby. We have a solitaire CZ. This heart CZ. Was that all of them? No, where's the other ruby? Oh, in my hand. So we have a heart and solitaire and a heart and solitaire. And then we have this heart with a solitaire. So those are super nice. Those would look beautiful on a chain. On a gold filled chain or a uh, vermeil. Verme, vermeil, tomato, tomato. Guys, I am from the south, so you just have to excuse my pronunciation of stuff sometimes. Alright, so our next piece is... I'm guessing those are some kind of turquoise. Nine two five. Those are pretty. Those are really pretty. And they're not real heavy. I can't wear real heavy earrings. I cannot stand heavy earrings. All right, this is our last little bag in this lot which is good because the video has gotten kind of long. All right, so we have a little lobster hook off of something. And again, always check your little findings, your earring backs, all of that, because people keep this stuff for a reason. All right, this says 10K, and it's got some kind of maker's mark. So on the little, right there's your 10K, and then it's got this little maker's mark inside the heart right there. So. If I have a necklace that needs repairing, now I have a little lobster claw for it. All right, this, this doesn't look like anything to me as far as precious metal. Nope, definitely not. Faux pearl. It's a pretty little piece though it's in excellent condition so that would be nice on a on a chain all right let's see what's in this little bag these definitely look like gold I was trying to see if maybe there was a stone in here at some point. I really can't tell if there was supposed to be a stone or if it's supposed to just look like there is a stone. And they are marked on the post. Well, I got the dropsies. Reading these posts are so hard, and you guys know I don't have the greatest eyesight in the world. I wish they would mark earrings other places, because honestly, these have plenty of other places to be marked. It's not like they're little studs. So it is marked right there 14k let's see if you can see the other one better i 
you can't but these are marked 14k i'll definitely test them let me know in the comments or shoot me an email and let me know if you think that at some point those had stones it's really hard to tell i mean they look fine just like they are but okay so those let's put those back in their little bag So this was their little stash bag. Alright, and then next in this little bag we have some little hearts. Nine two five. These things are super, super tarnished. They look terrible. A lot of my sterling I don't um I don't polish or clean especially the vintage stuff oh wait these have a little stone in them right there you guys see that little stone right there right there you see it flashing normally when they're that little yes we are moving oops I hit metal yep we're moving up to diamond so these have little diamonds in them. I bet those will be gorgeous cleaned up. Those will be gorgeous cleaned up. And that would make a great Valentine present for someone. Did we do this piece? Did we look at this piece? That also looks like gold. Okay, I'm seeing a little mark. 14k right there that's a good heavy little piece so neat so we got silver we got gold um we got this beautiful vintage glass this is probably my favorite piece in the lot other than the native so, let me lay this out and try to get me a good thumbnail picture for you guys. Let's see if I can get all of that beautiful glass. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? That's probably my favorite piece other than the native. But, of course, I always enjoy getting gold. You can't go wrong there. Um, we got the cloisonne. We got this awesome Sarah Cove set. Uh, the mosaics. Got several pieces of gold. I'm excited to get these cleaned up for Valentine's. So let me know what you guys thought of the lot. Like I said, watch out for part three and possibly part four coming over the next week or so. And. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.